Zynora, presented by its founder, Tobias Grab. Okay, thank you. First, um, I'm really thrilled to be here. I didn't expect to win. Uh, it was a great um, day yesterday. I heard a lot of other really good ideas, I think, and great opportunities for the future. And so I'm really happy to present uh, the ideas that um, we had and why we think we can break the wall of printed electronics. When, I, when, I, when you have five minutes to present your startup, maybe you shouldn't start with Adam and Eve. Uh, in my case, I have to start even earlier um, because 65 million years ago, um, an asteroid, a meteor, um, crashed into planet Earth. It was a bad day for the dinosaurs, um, maybe a good day for, for humans and mammals, but um, at the end, um, these meteor um, had a high amount of uh, a very rare metal that is iridium. You only find it in this KT boundary, uh, which is exactly 65 million years old in, on planet Earth, so it's the rarest element that we have. Um, but if you have a modern smartphone, or if you think of the next generation of uh, of, of, of light, um, this metal was the only one who is able to, to really produce light out of, uh, out of uh, energy. And so when you have a smartphone today that is with OLED technology, iridium is in there, and if you think that everything should light up, um, it's very bad to base uh, this idea on the rare, rarest element that we have. Um, so today we have OLED. Um, already, I have it in my pocket, and maybe 50% more or less of you have it too, um, maybe without even knowing it. The idea is, um, is that the end, that we have efficient and very bright and very contrast-intensive uh, displays in our pocket or on our walls at home? What is if our displays would really be flexible? What is if a window could illuminate the room, that we have transparent light sources? All that is technically possible today, but we can't afford it. And it's due to the material, due to iridium, and it's due to the process, how to make these devices. So they have to be, um, uh, that requires a, a high vacuum, so you have to deposit them from high vacuum, and that makes it very expensive even for larger areas. So when we started um, five years ago, and we had the first invention in the great science that was done by Professor Yazin, who found this new effect, uh, and we just discovered and make some chemical work on it. Um, we always thought you should be able to print out displays or to print out light sources to make it cheaper, available, and I would not be uh, in this bright light and have reflection in my glasses if all the ceiling would just light up or if the windows could light up in the evening. So by this great uh, science that was done by Professor Yazin, we found out that we can teach copper materials to do the same like iridium. Um, so we, we didn't teach it really. What we did was um, we realized that when we build some nice chemistry around a copper molecule, um, we can convert energy into light in the same way that only iridium and other heavy metals were able to do it before. And uh, now we are commercializing this idea, um, and um, we think that by our patent platform and the venture capital that we raised, we can really break the wall of printed electronics. Um, we can already print light sources, so this is our prototype from last year, was um, the, the reason maybe we get our B financial round. Um, this is by copper materials. This is a flexible light source that could be wrapped around cans. All the people from marketing and media would be nice if you light, maybe open up a can and uh, the, the logo of your company would be illuminated. All that will be possible if we are able to print light sources with abundant and not rare materials. That is about the smart packaging that at the end everything should be able to to interact with us, that we don't have even displays in our pocket, that the Internet of Things, all that is possible to interact when it's, when it's possible to use better and uh, abundant materials. <laughs> At the end, um, I would like, first of course, uh, to thank everybody um, for the great opportunity to tell you that we will break the wall of printed electronics. And if we're not able to do that, we will at least cover it with printed light. So <laughs> thank you all uh, for the attention. And
let me just remark in the last 10 seconds um, that when you want to bring science to business, there's a gap and you need venture capital to, to uh, just make the step to the market. Uh, and because just the German politicians are now discussing the future, um, please don't try to even more regulate uh, private venture capital and maybe don't overtax it. Uh, so really reconsider that it's really necessary in Germany and in, in all the world that we bring new ideas, new technologies, new patents to the market. And we need venture capital, your capital for that. So thank you very much.